there's all this these bad things going on in the city and then we go out paddle in the ocean it's just this blissful nirvana type experience so I thought why not kind of put it all together this guy just put the gun to my stomach and there's six guys behind him and they're like you know and I'm, you know, I have wet paint on me I'm like hey man <laughs> I don't have any money you know but uh, right when that happened it was just like it's just when something touches you like that you just don't forget it and that's when I just realized, you know, like, Venice is not all fun and games. L.A. is not fun, all fun and games. I mean, I came here just to paint, to surf, but, hey, man, I might pay the ultimate price here for, for coming here just to do that. I, had, I started painting on surfboards and... And then in between a series of surfboards, they were just laying around, and I thought, boy, wouldn't it be just so cool to, like, shoot holes through these things, you know, like, to sculpt them with a gun, to kind of turn the gun around, so to speak. With the crosses here, those are all pictures I ripped out of Surfer magazine, and I juxtaposed them with uh, images of skulls and skeletons in between, I, you know, I kind of mixed those in, but just the, just the sitting there and looking at these pictures in Surfer Magazine, like, he can tell you, you just get stoked looking at these pictures, you're like, yeah! Grew up surfing, thought I was going to actually move to Hawaii and shape surfboards, and then got a very, very bad sinus and ear infection my last year in high school. I went to art school, and that was, uh, that was the beginning and the end. Take off on a wave, you're constantly reacting to what the wave is doing. So I try and do the same thing in painting. And then some of the imagery tends to look like it comes from surfing, water, sky. But not in a conventional sense of sitting on the beach and watching a surfer take off on a wave, but more what you would see if you're underwater, maybe if you're drowning. The, the surfing world is very, kind of, lots of little pockets that never really converge, it seems like. People know artists that surf, or surfers that paint, and there's been many attempts to do kind of the ultimate show. They did one at the Laguna Art Museum about 10 years ago, but there were so many omissions in that show, and every time I've seen one curated, it feels like half the important people in this world get get omitted, so no one's ever really put together any kind of definitive surf art show. Plus, it, it runs the gamut of serious artists who are who surf, and then just sort of surfers who doodle and make paintings. Spicolis. Yeah.